Good morning. What you're watching is Glenn Now on YouTube. We're going to do a little project today uh, for a Colorado uh, furniture building company. Uh, what they need is uh, sort of like a brick for this. They do not want that to turn, if you can see that. Uh, they basically want a plate. 60 millimeters by 60 millimeters, five millimeters thick that protrudes down into that hole, which is like a collet. There's a, a little locking mechanism here. That's a 14 millimeter collet, and it goes down about uh, 31 millimeters from the top here. Uh, they want it this week. I told them I'll get on it first thing Monday morning. Okay, I chose a piece of 6061. That's that's what most of this is made out of anyway. Uh, I think that's strong enough. What I have here is a little bit bigger than what we need, but I'll trim it down and make it work. I'm going to do it on my uh, three-axis mill, my Herco. Need to square this vice up. What you do is you go up and back until you get at least five tenths parallel to the waist. Okay, we need to start moving here. Vice is trammed. The mill is practically set up. I just have to write a small program. I'm gonna move over to the uh, saw. Saw the part a uh, little closer to finish dimensions and we'll start milling. I'm gonna do that now. Try and get this thing sawn a little closer to size. This, I think, is a little faster than turning everything into chips. But well, we'll find out. I've taken this on my manual mill and squared it up. I faced it and I went around for something to grab onto. The vise is square, as you know, we did that yesterday. Uh, I set a stop in there, put a one, two, three lock in there, and touched off. So I know that when I push this on my parallels up against that stop, this corner is going to be X0, Y0. I have to touch off my, my Z with my tools. I always use the top of my part, and that's what I'm gonna do now.
Okay, it looks like I'm finished. This looks like what the customer wanted, with a little deburring, of course. Fits into the collet, nice and snug. The holes line up, and all the sizes are there. So, after I deburr it, I'm finished. If there's anything you saw that you liked, remember to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to click the bell so I can send you all my new videos. Thank you.